Welcome to Technobiotic.com and Technobiotic TV. In this video, we'll be speaking about Adobe's latest update because Adobe has launched a new update in May 2020 that will change everyone's life. When I mean everyone's shooting a video and if you're editing or designing in any way, Adobe launched new update for GPU usage. Don't get me wrong, GPU usage were just story for everyone for a long time, but with this update, it will affect your rendering times three, six, maybe even 10 times faster than you're imagining. Yes, maybe you've seen a lot of Adobe update videos on YouTube, but in this video, we'll be comparing four different GPUs at my back and also two different CPUs with this powerful computer. And we'll get you what kind of money you have to spend, how much difference, speed difference that you'll get with different GPUs and CPUs together. You'll get a clear idea if you watch this video until the end. Before we get into the numbers, let's just know our hardware because we are going to compare them. Ryzen 3950X, which is top of the line AM4 CPU is around $800. And our second choice of CPU is Ryzen 5 1600 version 2 12 nanometers because it's $100 range and it has been a choice of gamers for a long time because it is a bank for your buck CPU. And if you go to the GPU side, we got four different GPUs from the Galax brand and all from Nvidia of course, GTX 1650 Super, RTX 2060, RTX 2070 Super and RTX 2080 Super. When I speak about the tests and scores, numbers, render times, you'll get on the screen but before that how we tested this hardware it is an important issue we have a video you can watch the video from the link down below it's a PC performance test video it's a full HD and 180p 60 frame per second linear editing game PC performance footage video it's a simple video no special transitions no trackings no green screen no upscaling or downscaling from different resolutions as well. It's a basic linear editing, best to show you the power of the GPU or CPU combination together. It's a simple footage for 35 minutes. Before you get into the numbers, please do understand this because at the end of the video, I will speak a little bit of how much difference that you'll get. But if you change your products, projects, when you're video editing, how will it affect you? Let's go with the software rendering. If you choose the CPU of 3950X, your software render time for 35 minutes length of the footage, 29 minutes, 53 seconds. It's a good number. But if you downgrade your CPU to Ryzen 5 1600, you'll get 45 minutes, 46 seconds. Don't get me wrong. It's a huge difference, but the price difference is always huge. When you look at the numbers, $800 and $100 range, 700 difference. It's a it's a PC price, but it's, it's not going to fool you there. Don't forget, this is a simple footage, no effects. But if you add effects, software rendering times will be changed hugely, especially in Ryzen 5 1600. There is no tracking, there is no crazy effect, there is no green screen, there is no upscaling or downscaling that will affect software rendering hugely. So don't forget about this. And this is 35 minute length of a footage. So if you render a time lapse or if you render higher resolution, 8K, 4K, whatever, it will affect in the software rendering. Don't forget about it. So you get when you pay for if you're going to the CPU rendering side, but difference is a lot. But we are focusing on this video for the GPU. Let's just go with the higher CPU, the best CPU we have, 13, uh, 3950X, and GTX 1650 Super Combination will get you 10 minutes, 54 seconds. And if you upgrade the RTX 2060, 8 minutes, 11 seconds. If you upgrade RTX 2070 Super, 7 minutes, 34 seconds. And if you have the budget, RTX 2080 Super will get you 7 minutes, 25 seconds with the CPU of 3950X. That will show us just adding $150 GPU to crazy 3950X, which is top of the line AMD Ryzen, uh, CPU will get you three times faster than the software render. But many of you probably don't have this type of CPU power. Don't forget about it. And if you add different GPUs, you'll get speed increases. But 
after the RTX 2070 Super, to get RTX 2080 Super, you'll get only 9 seconds difference, but $200 range of price difference, that doesn't make too much of a sense. But the best price performance goes to the GPU side, GTX 1650 Super and RTX 2060. Above that, it's going to be about your budget and what you're going to plan to do with your system. But if you're going to consider gaming, you have to balance your system for no bottleneck and we have a lot of videos to show you different types of hardware. But the game is not going to stop here in this video. Ryzen 5 1600 with combining RTX 2080 Super, which is not a logical combination if you consider the price of the GPU and CPU together, but you'll get 7 minutes 38 seconds. Just stop there. We couldn't believe it in the first time. We tested again. We had 7 minutes 39 seconds. 1 seconds difference. That shows us if you get crazy GPU and mid-range CPU, maybe bottom of the mid-range, best price performance CPU, you'll get only 13 seconds difference with the best 3950X CPU. That is a crazy speed. I mean, considering Ryzen 5 1600 software render is 45 minutes, 46 seconds. Adding a GPU to that will affect you four or five times around. Just consider this. Before you purchase any rendering system or upgrading your system, consider all these information. Try to keep your balance up. Because when, you, when we summarize the subject, don't forget about our system is a strong system with 32 gigabytes of RAM and two SSDs, good power supply, huge coolers and lots of fans. These are also part of the performance. But we have changed two specs, CPU and GPU together. What we gained is huge. You see in the numbers. But don't get the craziest idea from this video buying a cheap CPU and adding an expensive GPU together is a, not a good combination for the most of the time because our footage was a simple 180p footage without any special effects. If you add tracking from Adobe After Effects or creating different sounds from Adobe Audition and adding files from Photoshop, Illustrator or creating an animation in After Effects will affect your performance. This was just a linear video editing performance test of 35 minute length simple video. But if you upscale 4K footage, downscale or use a 8K footage, raw footage from Blackmagic sort of professional cameras, maybe GPU levels and CPU levels a lot more increasing. And don't forget about the test scores. You might be thinking RTX 2070 and RTX 2080 has a CUDA difference. I mean, the GPU computational power is different, but you don't have a too much of a difference in video render times. This may be only for our 180p footage. If you have experienced different performance levels, if you have tested it, please write the comment section below to give everyone a different opinion and information about this. Because if you increase the render resolution or different type of footage, it will change maybe the GPU usage as well. But in our test, in Full HD, GPU usage kind of stops in 2070 Super. But don't forget about it. In life, everything like this. If you want to buy a Subaru with the same 0 to 60 speed, if you want a Porsche, just a little bit faster. Or if you go to the Ferrari, just a little bit faster. You pay a huge lot of money to just a little bit of getting faster. When you get above the line of the price performance level, you'll get performance, but the price will always going up. Don't forget about all this and make your choice. And you can support us by uh, buying any product from link down below technobiotic.com and if you want to support us also like the video share the video share the information and up until the next video hoşçakalın